You guys got any hobbies? What do you what do you, what do y'all do? Pokemon Go? What else? No? You don't need hobbies, gee whiz. Listen, uh, our next speaker has actually been traveling the globe as well, fighting bigotry, I would imagine. He's been to Guantanamo Bay. I'm hopeful you weren't locked up there, were you? Hopefully not. <laughs> he's been to Spain, he's been stateside, Rhode Island, Washington, D.C., he's been everywhere. Uh, and he now has his own triathlon training company called Fit to Train. Please welcome for me, Brian Hausenbauer. So when I first started thinking about this topic of how riding a bike can save your life, I thought it might show up in a pair of spandex. But after I talked to my wife about that, I've learned to not just listen to her, but to comply with her. So for your sake, no spandex tonight. So what does riding a bike have to do with saving lives? My life, your life, a friend's life, I contend it has everything to do with saving lives. And here's how. So riding a bike gives us a sense of freedom, and it makes us feel like really good. I can remember when I was growing up, I'd ride my bike up to Kmart and how great that felt, and I'd buy the latest Twisted Sister or Quiet Riot album. Heavy metal bands, yeah. So I didn't know at the time that years later, riding my bike up to Kmart would lead me to finishing top 25 at the Ironman Triathlon. So this is my story of how riding a bike saved my life and how it could possibly save yours. So skip ahead about two decades from when I was riding my bike to Kmart, and I've actually quit my job, my full-time job, started a triathlon team, and become totally passionate about what I was doing with my life. It was awesome. Life was great. So how does someone take a passion, take a hobby, and make it their life, make it their career. Totally do a 360 and do something different. Well, Viktor Frankl, in his book, The Meaning of Life, says the purpose of life is not this general purpose. It's the specific purpose that each person has on a daily basis. And Simon Sinek, who we all have probably heard of, he says that the meaning of life applies to goals also. And he talks about this chemical in our body called dopamine, which is the little chemical that helps us progress towards our goals. And so when you have that chemical dopamine in you and you're progressing towards your goals, whether it's starting your own company and doing something that's remarkable like that, something huge, or something small like running a 5K, as you get to that finish line, you get more and more dopamine and it feels really good. We all need that in our lives. You have to have something you're passionate about. There has to be something burning inside of you, or without passion, life is nothing. And for me, riding my bike is passion, and without that, life's a lot different. So in 2003, I finished the Hawaii Ironman World Championship, and soon after that, I had a herniated disc in my back and started suffering from depression. It got really bad. The less I rode my bike, the less I worked out, the fatter I got, the heavier I got, the less I hung out with my friends. I, I wasn't doing what I loved. And it got really bad for a while, and I, I think I was really depressed. So I think some of us in this audience might have felt that too at some point, where you're looking for something. Maybe you're here tonight because you're looking to be you know, ignited and get some passion back in your life. Let's hear it if you are. So for me, it all changed like two years ago when my wife was at a spin class at the Cycling Center of Dallas, and she called me up and said, hey, there's a bunch of guys that are doing this thing called the triple bypass. And I was like, shit, what's that, open heart surgery? And no, it ended up being a bike ride in Colorado, 120 miles. That's like Dallas to Fort Worth and back, 10,000 feet of climbing. And I was like, well, sh hell, that sounds like fun. I'm in. Sign me up. So I was totally into this. And after finishing, that's me right there, the, the kind of heavy guy, um, I was like, you know, I've kind of found my passion again. I'm back on my bike, I'm training, I'm feeling good about myself. And I felt like I was progressing towards a new goal of getting back in shape. So what do you do when you need that extra hit of dopamine and you need that feeling of feeling good? Well, you start a new company or you do something else. So for me, on August 13th, 2016, I am riding in the Leadville 100 mountain bike race. 
This is a 100-mile mountain bike race covering 14,000 feet of climbing, and it starts at 10,000 feet of altitude. It takes 12 hours to finish, and you get a stupid little belt buckle. So my thought on all this working out stuff and progressing towards a goal is you have to have something in your life that makes you want to get up in the morning. And without passion, life is nothing. So what is your bike? What is the one thing that makes you want to get up in the morning, puts a smile on your face, makes you feel good about yourself? If you don't have that, maybe it's time to do what I did. Buy a bike and start pedaling because it might just save your life like it did mine. Thank you.